in the remote Ozark Mountains. Homesteader Jason Hawk is pushing deeper than ever into the wilderness. If you're not hunting, you're buying more. To put an end to a dry spell. But yeah, it just hasn't been a good year for hunting. That's left him without a new supply of meat for more than six weeks. I keep moving further and further out, trying to look for, you know, where the game's hiding that. It's just continually pushing into new territory. And sometimes that's what you gotta do. But it's just kinda quiet. But it's deep into winter and the pickings are slim. The hell is it? Meadow, maybe? Old grain hopper or something? No. It's a damn plane. You don't find a plane every day. This is neat. I'll be damned. The seat, flaps, pedal controls, it's your stick. This whole area back here used to be farm country. It's got to be some kind of old crop duster or something. That's not aged aluminum. That's melted all in through here. You can see where it's melted onto different pieces of the frame. And this thing either caught on fire and crashed or crashed and caught on fire. I'm not seeing any remains. Hopefully, they walked or hobbled out of here. Man, I wonder what its story is and how long this thing's been sitting here. I see some fiberglass in here, so my guess, roughly, is probably that the plane came out of somewhere in the 60s. In a piece like this, there's higher carbon steel, lower carbon steel. Instead of harvesting meat, now it's time to harvest some metal. A salvage job of this size could yield thousands of dollars of raw material, if it's the right kind of steel. I'm gonna go back to the shop, get my goods, and then hopefully turn this plane into some money. On the backcountry trails of the Ozark Mountains, Jason heads back to the site of a long abandoned plane crash to salvage what he hopes is a jackpot of forgeable steel. One of the first things I'm gonna do is pull out the grinder and take all the small stuff. If there's anything with enough carbon in it to make a good edge, it's gonna be the cable. So I'm gonna start there. Steel is one of the strongest alloys on Earth, created by mixing iron ore with pure carbon. The higher the carbon content, the harder the steel. I like that piece. But Jason won't know what he's got until he tests the samples back at his shop. I've done just about what I can on the grinder. Now it's time to get in, get the cutting torch, and take out some chunks. Oh. Be steel. Make some interesting. Out of gas. Looks like that's what I'm taking today. I've got a bunch harvested at this point. Torch is dead. And it's time to pack it up and head on home. <laughs> 